Today's mission is roadside fishing, fishing little canals, creeks, roads. Busy behind me, but that's the mission today. Just fishing any little body of water we can see on bridges, under bridges, sides of the road, looking for any fish we can catch. So, what's that? Clean! What a real clean in this lagoon. Wait, something big come from my boy. Something big now come from a low. It had to be a big tap on. Jill, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> that was terrible, doggy. <laughs> come, Jill, oh, you have funny tree, you gosh, she ain't coming out from this. <laughs> You see liver, you see gateways. No, you lost your head today? Eh? Dog, you're terrible boy. Boss, that line was, that's the parents of Yeah dog, but you let him go into that branch. Alright guys, intro mission today, East Coast Vibes, me and JLo, just exploring. Looking for different spots. L zone here. So we can reach down and try line. No dogs attack me. Can I get a good zone though? There's no place to fish. Big crab right there, guys. Check the size of this one. Hey, sir. Coming from the other side now, guys. Snook fishing, combat fishing. Just gotta keep on changing your angles. Trying new spots. Just little corners, just be like. The safety zones for them. The easiest to fish to. Where are people that's come and catch crab here? Fish on, fish on, fish on. <laughs> right, what I tell you. Nice little common snook. Show our boy Jello. Jello! <laughs> Another bridge. Go, Reese. Alright, guys, there's one snook, but it's not looking like a multi fish. 
zone is looking snooky under the bridge. Challenges to get a good cast. Same thing as <laughs> Very strong active snowboard. Nice little come on. Slip number two. Yeah, the top one are jumping. Really quite excited. Guys, I'd like to introduce you to Cuz. What's up, guys? Very happy to be on the channel. Uh, we're trying to get some top one on Snook for you today, guys. We'll see how it goes. Conditions are not the best for us, but we're still going to try. I want to get this guy on a top one. Big or small, he has to at least feel one on the line. Absolutely. Feel experience. So we're going to try. I saw two jump already, so I think the hopes are looking pretty good. Let's go and get a fish. Yeah, for sure. Cuz, yeah. cheers, man. Welcome to Trinidad, man. Enjoy the hot sun. Thank you. <laughs> right, guys, let's get amongst them. And here's the boys. Peace, man. Peace, man. Right, so I'll let you make the first couple of throws. The fish look like they're on. It'll be easier to fish on this side. Like another one just jumped yeah, right yeah. next. So they are some tough on here. And drop it in the clear. Yeah. Look, another one, right, so they are fish, they are fish. So, right, another one, right, so we have some top. You could come, probably come on this side and do some cast. Just, as you know, we're on a road, so <laughs> watch your box, right? Right, yeah, and that's slow, slowly bounce it and rip it. Yeah, fish on, you have him. Oh my goodness, yeah. you have him. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. <laughs> Look at that, man. Well done, man. <laughs> Nice! Top one on! Top one on! So, <laughs> oh my god! Welcome to Trinidad! <laughs> I did not expect that that quick. Right, how are we going to land him? Don't worry, let him, let him jump a couple times and then I'll lift him and I'll, I'll take him off for you, right? Oh let my him come. god! <laughs> and a nice one too, boy! <laughs> <laughs> well done! That was quick. He made the perfect oh cast in the gap. Alright, how, 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 how thick is your line? What's his strain? Hopefully he doesn't fall off here, guys, but it's a nice size one. Wow! <laughs> Unbelievable! Wow, this is a nice size one for this area though. Oh, there's ah, a quick release, gone. yeah. Damn, never mind. I've seen <laughs> and connected with a tap. That, that's a catch and release with tap on there, right? <laughs> because I held the leader. That's a catch and release right yeah. there. <laughs> He's actually a big one for this, this area. I've killed. I took some top one combat fishing in the Plan one. Gee, if you have your short rod, we can go and try that spot over there. Here comes Cos. <laughs> Guess what he's got? <laughs> he's got a tarp on. A little micro. This is the size we can pull up. Like a Incredible fish, look at them. Very small. They're dorsal on these guys. And they get to be over 200 pounds. Yeah, they get big. This is where they start their growth. Here we go, guys. So I'm guessing they're in this river almost as a nursery. As a nursery, exactly. Yeah. They come in probably as eggs or as a larval stage, and then they get big. Nice one, man. You well, wanna man. let's go over there? You'll yeah. pull one for sure. Let's do it. 
see it. One of these fellas have to connect me. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> Where did that come from? Well, oh my God. come on, little guy. <laughs> that was right at our feet, you, guys. You wouldn't believe. <laughs> I, just, I just jigged my law in the water right next to us, and this little guy took it. Unbelievable. That, is that is unbelievable. Works. I was looking away. The law was just basically sitting in the water. I moved my rod a couple of times. And there he is. Yeah, there he is. And the irony of this is, guys, it, it literally about 20 minutes ago to me, Cos said to me, sometimes they'll bite yeah. it just as you're lifting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And as if by magic, it bang, happens. There he is. These fish are awesome. Fish. Mouth? Of course. Look at the size of that mouth. Gaping predator. They're unbelievable, almost prehistoric looking. Yeah, definitely. But it's, yeah. uh, to me, they are one of the most beautiful fish. Oh, they're absolutely stunning. You, at this size, especially, you know too, that they grow to be so big, it's amazing to actually yeah. hold one in your hand. But I always treat them with respect because, you know, these are awesome creatures, aren't they? Definitely so. So let's put them back. Right, let's get it back. Right where he came from, literally. That's <laughs> yeah. Nice <one> <laughs> you wouldn't believe <laughs> I just made the cast and the line came out, I just dropped it in the water and left it there. Fine, there it was. So, this is a big one, man. <laughs> <laughs> big guy, bending your rod. It's what we call a branch tikai. Not a grand tikai, which is the local name for top one. It's branch tikai. <laughs> Good one, G. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, oh, oh, catch and release, you? man. Excellent, excellent. That's a All right, guys. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Cool Sun Fishing, we're here with G's Tight Lines. I'll put his channel in the link in the description below. Um, we came to look for some top one, very limited time. Maybe we've been fishing, maybe an hour, maybe just about an hour. Conditions were not the best, seaweed like crazy. But we still managed to hook up a nice one, maybe five to six pounds. Yeah, G. about that. On the first, the first cast, cast, I tried to land him, but he flipped off. You know how tap on her, but you know, at least he felt a tap on the line. Got a couple more hits in the corner. I caught two small ones, one in unexpectedly. <laughs> right but, in the margin. Uh, but you know, fishing is fishing. We still enjoyed being out here, experiencing an Alpine adventure. Not in normal places where no. G might fish. <laughs> it's like a, a Trini, a uh, Kosem inshore adventure where we you know we're going to a little creek, a little hole somewhere, and we look for the fish. Still enjoyed it. Hopefully next time he comes, we'll go and look for some bigger fish. But it's still enjoyable for me. G, welcome to Trinidad. Cos, thank you for the time, mate. It's Definitely. been appreciated. My pleasure, my friend. Guys, get out and wet a line. For sure. Remember to check out the channel. I'll put the link in the description. Below. Fish on, guys. I'm going to keep fishing. Fish on. Try to get us on the beach.